Hey, I'm Roland with MobileGeeks.com, no longer NetbookNews.com, but MobileGeeks. Um, we're right here at IFA 2012 with Toshiba, and here we have a new Toshiba satellite U920T, which is a convertible Ultrabook. So it, that's actually an Ultrabook, it has Ultrabook technology in there, it's all Intel Core i3, 5 and 7, CPUs, SSD, and 4 gigs of RAM. The SSD is actually 128 gigs. Um, it's a pretty light device, it's only 1.45 kilograms and close to 21 millimeters thick, although it is a slider tablet. Um, the tablet thing actually works like this, you can, the one spot where it actually kind of locks is right here. There's a reason for that, which I'm going to tell you about later. And if you want to open it up, you slide it all the way to the top and tilt it. You have the possibility to actually tilt it in a lot of angles. You just got to push it down and then it locks right there. Um, what we have is the typical Windows 8. 1366 by 768 resolution on a 12.5 inch display. Um, the thing is, Toshiba promised to actually put on a coating, an anti-fingerprint coating on this device, so it's not going to be as glossy when it comes out on the market in October, but it should be nice to use in the sun and draw less fingerprints, right? Um, yeah, let's take a quick look around then. Up here we have a 1.3 megapixel webcam. Uh, on the bottom right there is the Windows start button. It's a mechanical button, so no touch button or anything. The other way to go to the start menu is through the charms bar on the side, but you can always use this one. Um, it's bending a bit right here, but Toshiba is actually saying that they're still working on this thing to make it more stable in the end. Um, the keyboard is a full-size chicken keyboard with a couple of function keys on top and on the side. Uh, the trackpad is actually clickable, so no separate mouse buttons. And there is still a trackpad because there's some people who still want to use the desktop without touching the screen. Um, what else is there? Toshiba said that this you can lock the screen right here because there's actually a webcam on the back and there's a reason for that. So when you lock it like this, you can actually take pictures. I know nobody's gonna go outside and take pictures with a 12.5 inch tablet, but whoever wants to has the possibility with this one. Um, the main thing why they have the camera on the back is actually that when you are at college or in a meeting or something, you can have the webcam display a window right there with a the speaker and you can take notes in Word on the side. That's what a use case that Toshiba actually came up with. Um, let's take a quick look around then again. What we have right here is the power button. That's a volume rocker right there and the screen lock. There's a USB 3.0 down here. Nothing on the front except for some LEDs and speaker grills. On the side we have the headphone jack. It's a combined mic and headphone jack. Behind this flat right here is a, a full-size SD card reader and on the back we have another USB 3.0 and an HDMI out and some air vents for the CPU and the power jack. Um, on the bottom it's actually magnesium material, on the front this down here is actually plastic. The device is supposed to be out in October. I can't really tell you anything about the pricing, but it's going to be upwards of $1,000. All right, I was rolling with Nepo News, Mobile Geeks nowadays. See you later.